<laughs> oh, you're getting that. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> hey, guys, we're, we're at the lake. Stop, stop, we're not at the lake. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Go. I think they went to the right, didn't they? <laughs> He's so cute! Oh! He's so cute! Here we <laughs> Gone. Look, he was hanging out in the sledge over here. Come <laughs> <laughs> Go, little guy, go! Man, this is lame. <laughs> I know. We're gonna go to Whole Foods. That's a house. What? Welcome the guest us. house is bigger than any house I've ever lived in. They have a topiary in the back. Oh my gosh. And this one. <laughs> yes, we live in an RV, but we like to look. <laughs> and this one. It's <laughs> not cheating. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, look at that guy. Ooh, very that modern. is modern. Modern and big. That's huge. These are so huge. Yeah. What? What do you do with all this space? Wow. What that do can't you be do? a house. They're all houses. Seriously, what do you do with all this space? Like, if you have a big family, sure. I would invite all That's of our okay. families to stay with us. This guy, you, you got into some raisin bread. He was over at my in-laws and he apparently got up on the counter and ate slash brought them a loaf of raisin bread. You guys probably all know grapes and raisins, same thing, are toxic for dogs. They, he had eaten about half of it. They rushed him to the only vet that was open. It was in New Braunfels, which is about 20, 30 minutes from here. Uh, rushed him there. They had him throw up many, many times. Um, and they believe that they got him there in time for, basically his body hadn't digested the raisins yet. So they actually got them all out via vomiting. We've been keeping an eye on him. He seems to be fine. He's eating, drinking, peeing as normal. He has energy. But we're taking him into the vet this morning to get some blood work done to make sure there wasn't damage done to his kidneys. Go, boys, go! Oh, boys. Yay, Brady! All right, so Brady checked out. Everything is all good. The vet was saying that there's actually not a lot of studies that show how many grapes or raisins a dog needs to eat in order for it to affect them and affect them quickly, but they checked his blood levels, everything looks good. So they said he's he's good to go. Just keep him away from the raisin bread. Care packages are packed and ready to go, except for that one. That's got a computer in it. That's not for the homeless. That one's mine. Do you want to give that to somebody? No. To me. <laughs> There's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey guys. What's up guys? <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed the little bit of footage from Austin. That place is called Mount Bunnell. I call it Mount Bunnell. I've heard people call it Mount Bunnell and then I've Mount heard people Bonnell. say Mount Bonnell. Yeah. Um, basically it's like a five minute walk max up some steps and then you get to overlook like the lake and downtown Austin. It's really, really cool. So if you guys are in the area, it's also uh, near some great restaurants and a little coffee shop called Mozart's that we went to. Definitely recommend if you guys are in the area. We wanted to finish out this video by answering a question. So I've been asking uh, you guys for some questions to add to either a full Q&A or just doing questions here and there. I picked out a question for today and we're going to answer it. I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> so the question... Oh no. <laughs> Mosquito. What is the scariest thing about living in an RV full time? So this person went on to say, I'm moving into mine in November. Uh, what has me nervous is the weather and the sights. I hear that RV campsites are all pretty safe, especially ones with full timers, but then bad storms will frighten me because I'm sure I can hear and feel it more in an RV. The scariest thing about living in an RV full time. I'm actually not scared of weather. I'm not really worried about people hurting me or anything like that. So it's nothing like that. Really the only part that actually 
sometimes worries me is the travel. So the scariest thing about living in it really is just the restrictions on the amount of things. So, and this is very specific probably to me because I'm a drummer, I play piano, you know, just all kinds of things. So yeah, I'm a, I play uh, several instruments, uh, drums, piano. I mean, I try to play guitar until I break the thing. Just the scariest thing is the restrictions on the amount of space, the amount of things I can really take with me to places and actually hone my skills. It's more so just annoying, it's not scary. It's not even, it's, it's not, not scary. scary at all. I don't know, I mean, there's nothing that really scares me about this, um, about maybe a severe issue, like uh, something going wrong with like the, not the suspension, but the floors or something like that. I always think the floors are going to cave in every time Brady jumps off the bed and oh. he just hits the floor and like Loud, literally you can step shakes. on the floor and the floor moves a little bit. Nothing scary. Scary is a, a bad word to, to use. I mean, for, 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 you. for me, you, you're scared of everything. So yes. there you go. Um, so I'd say that the scariest thing about living in an RV full time, does travel count? If travel counts, then heading face down a giant mountain basically. I mean, as far as like the, the whole aspect of RV living, the traveling part is the scariest thing for me because it's so uncertain. You just, you don't know what can or will go wrong. Uh, you are literally carrying your entire home with you or, tr you know, trailing it behind you. That is, of course, if you do a travel trailer. As far as like living full time in an RV, generally, I, I haven't really been that afraid as far as campsites go because I feel more safe when we're around more people. You know, generally whenever you go to RV parks and campsites, there's quite a few people around and they're usually very family oriented. You'll see, you know, people with their grandkids or families with their kids. They're always out like riding bikes and doing things and hanging out. We went to this one in Kingsland um, and it, there were no lights around. They just built it. I can't remember what it was called. Lighthouse. Uh, we had parked next to two trailers that did not look great. They didn't look safe and they did like sketchy things at night. So that was one time where I didn't feel exactly safe. Uh, but even then there were still people around. Even if we're in the RV, you can yell for help and people will hear you because mm -hmm. the walls are so thin. But I think a lot of it is like just the uncertainty, like not knowing what can go wrong with the RV because it's so new to us. So something, you know, with the black water or something with the power, just being uncertain about the issues uh but so far everything we've conquered basically yeah just don't be worried about things you don't be worried about things you have me there's so many things out there so many like triple a and everything like that and there's so many youtube videos i mean it's youtubing or RVing is is pretty easy now simple simple it's simple it's simple that's true. And I used to be afraid of storms, like more so. I, I get anxiety whenever storms are around in general. You lived through a hurricane. But we went through Hurricane Harvey with the trailer. And, you know, granted, whenever it got to us, it was a category one. One. But still, like, there was a lot of wind. There was a lot of rain. It was very intense. But even with that, whatever the winds were at the time, like, our little trailer stood up. So we had uh, people tell us in the comments like they've driven down the highway with like 70 mile per hour winds and yeah it's scary and they don't advise it but they're still here you know so I think a lot of that is just experiencing things as it happens and realizing that you are going to be okay mm -hmm. you know and, and that's kind of how I that's kind of my own experience he doesn't worry about anything but for me I worry about everything and so it just takes me going through the experience to realize that it's not that bad if that makes sense. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing us answer that question. If y'all have any others that you want us to answer, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll save them either for a full Q&A video that we'll probably do pretty soon, or just random snippets, kind of like what we're doing now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure and subscribe. We are going to do another giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. Yep. Coming up soon. Which hopefully. is mind-blowing. Um, but I wanted to do another giveaway for that, which will include some of our Teespring goodies and some other fun stuff. So yep. yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Stay tuned for Wednesday's video and then the weekend we've got some plans and then we've got Vegas coming up in two weeks. Two weeks. So lots of fun stuff coming up for you guys. Stay tuned, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yep. Have fun out there. Bye. Hey guys, we're it. Well, it's kind of awkward right here. <laughs> just, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, <laughs> flip, turn the other way so it looks like we're like somewhere. No, I was gonna say. <laughs>
I like the break. It's fun. Camera hit the window. And so, hold on. Just making sure I can hear. Okay. My answer is. Okay. This is just kind of sad. What? I mean, I mean, you're doing good. What's sad? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. This is where we are in our life. <laughs> Made a oh. purchase today. Yeah. <laughs> this is my new. Good. Oh, the spot that you picked out for it whenever you had it in mind. Oh no. Doesn't this, fit. This seems to be a reoccurring thing with me. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. This is this is almost as good. Harry! <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording you now. <laughs>